Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find this area here from what from zero to one. From zero to one. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, let's let's integrate it from from an arbitrary point. Let's call it a all the way to one. So integrate it from from an arbitrary point. Let's say a all the way to one, and then later on we can allow a to head towards uh, zero. So later on we can allow uh, we can allow a to head towards zero from the right hand side. So first step, um, let's integrate it from an arbitrary point a a to one. So first step, let's integrate it from an arbitrary point a to one. So now it's just a matter of us integrating this. So re rewrite this as this. Rewrite as one thing multiplying another thing. So we've got to use um, use uh, integration by parts. So allow this to be a v prime. Allow this to be uh, to be u, uh, and then it's blah blah blah. It would then give you this. We've done this many times. So uh, so you should be able to get from here to here. Okay. So use integration by parts. That would take you from here to here. So uh, so when you integrate it from a to one. It gives you this thing here. So now, uh, now let's let's try and evaluate this. So it would be us putting this into here. So so when you put the one into here, it's really the square root of one. So that's the square root of one times two here. Put the one into here. That will be natural log of one. Don't forget natural log of one. Uh, natural log graph looks like this. Natural log of one is zero. This block here is zero. So later on, this is going to disappear. And then, and then you take away. Now put this into here. So you take away. Uh, put this into here. So that would be square root of a times two. And then put this into here. That would be natural log of a here. And then we've got to. Um, we let, let's just um, let's just multiply this to the top. And then uh, tidy up. It will then give you this. So uh, so now we need to integrate this. We we'll integrate this. It will then give you. Give you this, okay? So, so integrate this, it will then give you this. So that would then take us to um, that would then take us to here. So now evaluate this. So put this into here. So that would be uh, square root of one. Square root of one is one uh, times four. That would be negative four. And then you uh, you take away, put this into here. That would be square root of a. And then you've got your four. And then earlier it's negative and another negative. Somewhere in there, it, it will give you a positive. Think about it; it gives you a positive. So, uh, so when you integrate it from a to one, it will give you this thing here. So, hang on. So, so when you integrate it from from a to one, it will give you this thing here. So now allow a allow a to head towards towards zero from the from the right hand side. So now take the limit as a tends to zero from the from the right hand side so uh, so now take the limit of this whole thing here so so basically currently we are integrating from a to 1 we are integrating from a to 1 but now allow a allow this a to move towards 0 from the right hand side so basically you're taking the the limit uh, as a tends to uh, to 0 from the right hand side of this whole thing here of this whole thing here but then the minute you take uh, the minute you allow zero, the minute you allow a to head towards zero from the right hand side, you are you are actually integrating from zero to uh, to one. You, you are no long cut here. You are you are integrating from a to one. But the minute you you allow a to head towards zero from the right hand side, you are really no longer integrating from a, but you're integrating from zero to one. Okay, so so that will then take us to here. So now, uh, now if if you um, if you take the limit as a tends to zero, then then this thing here you know is going to be zero. This thing here is going to remain the same, but this thing here is a bit hard to evaluate because, okay. So so let's let's just consider this bit at the moment. Let's just um, we've got to take the limit of this whole thing here. This is easy to to well this is going to go to zero. This is going to stay constant. But now we need to to understand what's going on here. So let's just consider this bit here. Let's just consider this limit only. Let's just consider this bit. Later on, once we've worked out this bit, we can come back to here and then look at the whole thing. 
So for the time being, let's just consider this bit. Let's just consider this bit here. Okay, so so now um now uh now now if, if you look at this um hang on, let me think. So uh so rewrite this, rewrite this thing here as one block multiplying another block. So now um now if, if you look at this, as a tends to uh zero, you've got as a tends to zero, this thing here is the square root well if you look at the square root of x, as as a tends to zero, this thing here is going to head towards zero. So this is heading towards zero. And then if you if you look at the uh, the natural log uh the natural log graph, it looks like this. And then as a as um as as a tends to zero, as a tends to zero, you're heading towards negative infinity. So here you've got zero times uh negative infinity. Uh, and the, and then you've got a negative here so it makes it a uh, a positive infinity. So here you've got You've got infinity times zero. Well, infinity times zero is an indeterminate form. So, uh, so we 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 can apply L'Hopital's rule. But before we before we can apply L'Hopital's rule, we need to uh, to to rewrite what what we've got here is a product. We've got one thing multiplying another thing. This here is an, an indeterminate product. So we need to rewrite this uh, in, in into a quotient form. So we we can always do that by by uh, by by rewriting this as um, by rewriting this as this, and then here you've got one you've got one thing hang on, you've got one hang on, you've got one thing t multiplying a fraction. So this thing here gets multiplied to the top. So that will then give us this. That will then give us this. So now um, now now evaluate it. So as a tends to zero, as a tends to zero. Let's look at this thing here. As a tends to zero, um, I will continue in the next video. So we are currently here. I will continue in the next video.